Hello, it's me again. So, um, so this is a, an update. So, about a few weeks ago, I posted a video about my fight with testicular cancer, and that was like me telling you what was what after the operation and before the operation and everything. I did say that I went for a CT scan. And that the testicle that they removed, they examined and tested on um, to check what kind of cancer it was. Well, I got my results back and it's good news. So the testicle that they removed, they tested it and it was lymphoma or something. Well, in, in a term that I could understand, it wasn't the aggressive kind so that was good it wasn't aggressive you know, if left longer it could have gotten aggressive so I'm glad that I actually stepped forward early about it and told someone told the doctors and that so that was good that they got it before it could do any further damage so they did the CT scan on me and apparently they found some some tumor growth or something in my lung or something that I could have had from being really little and it's not bothering but that that's not life threatening it's it, that's all good I'm I'm fine there but anyway yeah they, they scanned and they didn't find anywhere else they hadn't spread anywhere else it, it seemed to have just stayed within the testicle and like I say, if left longer, it could have gotten a lot worse. So, yeah, I'm. they, they told me that I'm cancer-free. They did do blood tests, though, and I don't. I couldn't fully understand what, what they meant with some of the blood tests. One blood they found, a tumour growth or something in there, tumour gene, I don't, I, I don't... Like I say, I don't fully understand all this medical science. But... That was up to seven. I believe that it can go up to a thousand, but mine was really low. And also, the chance of it coming back, say, in my right testicle, which is the one good one I still have, that's incredibly low, like a one or two percent chance of, of coming back. But, you know, I'm not thinking that way. You know, I'm not thinking like that at all. I'm staying positive, and I know that you know that this isn't going to come back. You know, because I got it all. I was like thinking, I'm going to fight this, and I'm going to win, and that I have. So yeah, I, I don't have any cancer in me. The cancer's gone. They got it all, which I am so grateful for. I'm grateful to the doctors who have treated me and the NHS in in total. Like I said. We owe them a great debt of gratitude, not just for treating me, but for everything they've done over the last almost two years now with this pandemic that's been going on. So yeah, they they took a, they they got out they took the cancer out. So I have to go back in a couple of weeks for further testing for bloods to triple check that they that that it's, that it should that you know there's no risk of it coming back. I don't think there is any risk of it coming back, but they are gonna, you know, you know, process everything, and also I'm still healing from my op. I mean, the scarring isn't that bad now. The swelling has gone down a lot. I'm more just mending on the inside now, but I've still got like three more weeks of healing, so no heavy machine operating or heavy weight lifting until then. So two to three week more weeks of that so yeah I'm, I'm still healing around there um but worst case scenario now is that i'm going to need one shot of chemo and this is to be sure you know 200 percent you can say to make sure that it will that there's no risk of it coming back and it's all reduced to zero so they're all they're all having meetings about it they're all going over my case and everything they're all you know and i'm going to have an appointment in a couple of weeks and they will decide whether i need one shot of chemo and that is the worst case now just one shot of chemo that's all that you know 
and that's a big might that's a big if you know i might not need it they might have got everything and they're happy with it but if i need one shot of chemo then you know bring it on you know, if i can get through this i can get through anything and also i don't need to worry about you know it making me like say sterile or anything because you know during the two weeks before the operation i you know made a deposit and the semen that i gave them they were happy with it was fine and i didn't need to go back for any more goes at it so i've got some sperm frozen away for the next 20 years now so that's all good you know like i said i i would like to have children one day and if it isn't going to be naturally at least i can get you know artificial insemination or what have you for you know like a spouse i may have like i say i i am in a current relationship i and i do have friends and family you know that have also you know shown their love and support when i you know told everyone that that i'm cancer free everyone was chuffed for me they were all happy and you know and i'm glad that i'm okay i'm glad that i'm going to be good you know it's all good like i say all this has given me such i mean before with this whole pandemic it gave me a whole new look on life this just made it even more important to me that you know life is short you gotta you know sometimes just not look at the complicated things in life just look at the good things in life just live and love life you know you know just take a moment every day to reflect on things and be grateful for what you have you know because as i said before you only get one go around in this life so yeah i'm pretty much good I, and also for all my fans out there the carolers i i do want to get back into the old habit of things and i i will try and do that really soon um i can't guarantee if if i could if i'll be well enough i i don't know maybe after christmas i could is a definite i can definitely get back into things but like i say i'm still mending and you know i'm still i mean i've still got a few appointments but everything's good you know like i said everything's good and i'm doing well i've, I've beaten it all i've, I've won as i said I, I'm, I was going to fight it and i have so now we just gotta you know make sure everything is good like i say i'm not dying this isn't even a death sentence i'm not gonna go no 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 like that is gonna happen for a very long time and i mean a very long time i'm gonna live a full life yet before before i go anywhere but i just wish that other people that have this horrible evil disease i just wish they could have had i wish that they could have the news that i've had because you know not everyone gets the good news that i've had you know some people it's too late for them or it's too aggressive or you know they can't do anything or anything like that you know so like i say i'm grateful for what i got and those who who can't you know who whose chances are beating it or low and everything my heart really does go out to them because you know it's just like i say it can be a shit show at times as i said before we will we will beat it we will cure cancer in the long run and as i've said before i wish we could do it sooner rather than later and if they can find treatments along the way to get rid of it we've got to be close we, we, we really have got to be close to it because my auntie she had uh, breast cancer she found out this time last year uh, she had both her breasts removed and she went through four shots of chemo and it you know and then she had radiotherapy because hers was a lot more aggressive and um l long story short she's fine now she, she's doing good it's in remission like mine so now i've got about five years of this remission so apparently i'm going to go back every three months for checks and then after two years that'll be every six months for checks then by the fifth year it'll be one check a year and then at that point i've got just as much 
of a chance of people that have never had it or don't have it you know i have you know the chances of me getting it then are just the same as everyone else who who doesn't have it so yeah you know i i've, I've got a you know this is where i start a new chapter in my life i mean like i say i've got to go through the remission stage but you know it's all good you know and uh I look forward to living a full life and starting again. Well, you know, this is like a new chapter. So, you know, it's like, I mean, over my, over the last 10 years or so, I've been struggling with depression and, you know, just being in really low places and really down in the dumps and thinking, oh, is life worth doing and all that? But now that I've gone through this, I find that depression isn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me. But still, I I I won't I'll admit I'm not going to be rid of this anxiety. But I'm in control of it. And I'm you know and every day I keep putting up a smile and everything cuz they say the most depressed people are the happiest. That's what we want we show everyone happiness and laughter because we never want anyone to feel the pain that we feel but like i said i don't feel depressed or anything now i i feel positive i feel happy i feel grateful the complete opposite of depression but i know that it will always be there but i am in control of it and i will never let it destroy me again because i've not let this destroy me so, yeah, I'm in control, and I've got this. I've got it all. So, yeah, uh, I've probably gone on a bit now, so if you've watched to the end, then thanks for that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you've watched to the end. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've... I wanted to tell you that, that everything's good. Everything's looking good, and... You know, I've been through the shit and this is where things are going to start getting better now. I can feel it. Things getting better, not just for me, but for the world. I mean, we're still in this pandemic. But, you know, in the long run, we'll evolve. We'll become immune to it. Just like every pandemic we've had in the past. Like the Spanish flu and the, you know, the Great Plague and everything. Like I said, we'll evolve. We'll evolve and be, grow immune to it and live with it. And in the end, it'll be just as risky as the common cold or even man flu. So, you know, let's all soldier on through this. And, yeah. I mean, as humans, we are a stubborn species. And also, we do abuse our power a bit. And in many ways nature has found ways of retaliating against us and stuff but at the end of the day we need to look after the earth and the earth will look after us you know and i just wish we could all chip in a bit more with that but you know like i say it's all a bit of a shit show at the minute but there are good things in this world Anyway, yeah, that, that's all I've got to say. I've, I've rabbited on enough now. I'm going to let you all get on. I'm going to get on with whatever I'm doing. So, yeah, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And, yeah, I'll keep you posted uh, any about any further treatments I may or may not need. So, yeah, that's it for me. So, until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends. Goodbye.